Hey everyone, Jason Rom here, and this is going to be my very first ever unboxing video. And so if you are familiar with unboxing videos and you think this is going to be amazing, hold tight. It may be good, it may be terrible. You'll have to let me know in the comments uh, how I did on my very first one. But I'm excited because today we're going to unbox this bad boy. This is an Intel Nook. And uh, my very first exposure to the Intel Nook is from Mr. Boo Lamb, who happens to be one of my Dev Central compatriots. And so I'm gonna slice open this box and take a look at what came in the package anyway. So I've got obviously the Nook box itself. Throw this plastic away. And let's see. Obviously, I have a power cord. That's helpful to have. No, well, it's weird that's not in the box, but uh, maybe, uh, you know, they have this for um, not just America, but everyone, and everybody gets their own power cord, and they didn't want to put that in the box, so I, I guess we'll let that one go. Um, all right, I'll set that to the side. Uh, what else I have in here is a 64G USB pin. Um, hmm, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that, but uh, it, it is an actual pen and uh, looks like a stylus. So interesting, not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet or what its purpose is, uh, but we'll get there. So one of the reasons that I have this Intel Nook in the first place is we are uh, making movements with F5 Distributed Cloud and we're, we're trying to build uh, more and more content around the use cases involved with uh, with client edges and, and customer edges, and and so what several of uh, you know sales engineers or solutions engineers, uh, solution architects are doing is they're setting these up in their own homes, and then we can add these into a big group of all of us, and then we can work on distributing loads around all of our different uh, um, customer edges. And so it's a, it's an interesting thing that we'll be able to do. And I didn't want to get left out in the cold and I, I want to learn along with everybody else. And so thankfully my uh, Superman uh, boss uh, approved us getting these so that we can uh, improve our own knowledge, but also prepare content for the community, which is what this is all about. Okay. As we open this box, packaging-wise, nice, nice packaging. Um, I'm kind of a packaging nerd. I, I just kind of like to see, like the Apple stuff. Their packaging is as impressive as their products. I really like it. Uh, this one is packaged really well. Everything's, uh, you know, not moving in the package, so that's nice. And it's got this nice little foam core around there. We'll drop that out of the side. But a nice, nice thick box. Uh, what we have in here is looks like I can mount this thing to a. A shelf or um, you know I could mount this to the side of my desk uh, it looks like it's a visa mount so you can mount that right to the back of your uh, right right to the back of your computer monitor which would be nice so if you're thinking like thin clients of old uh, this thing's got a lot more power than a thin client and we'll talk about that here in a minute uh, but uh, nice nice package we'll set that aside then we get our uh, documentation you know RTFM right uh, but uh, we will set that aside and uh, the Visa monitor or, or mount, I'll set that aside. I'm gonna put that in the box. And the Visa screws, put those away. Use those for other projects. I'm always looking for those little Visa screws. Okay, so here's the other part of my power adapter. So it looks like one, one chunk sits in the box. Uh, the uh, American version of the rest of it um, gets uh, shipped separately, uh, which kind of makes sense because then this is uh, international box itself and then the, the little part is uh, left uh, to distribution centers in, in those um, you know in those areas so it uh, looks like from a power perspective um, man my eyes are getting old it's a uh, 100 to 250 volt uh, 5 amp 1.8 amp in 6.3 amp out um, okay so quite a 120 watt all right, so this thing's small, as you can see here. Uh, maybe you can see here. Let me check. Yep, okay, I'll slide it back a little bit. This thing is not huge, but it's it's actually, it feels strong. I don't know if that's plastic or metal. That's plastic. It, it, it has a 
a good feel to it though. It feels sturdy. Um, and then looks like uh, if I walk, work my way around this box, I've got an SD card here on this side. I've got Thunderbolt USB-C, uh, USB 3, got audio connection there. Uh, what is that? That must be, uh, it's not, yep, that's a button of some sort. Maybe that's power. And then of course your physical security lock there. Um, your input power, uh, display port, uh, there's our Ethernet, a couple more USB 3s, and then another Thunderbolt uh, slash USB 3 or USB C, and then uh, an HDMI port. So lots of interfaces on such a small little box. Um, anything that's small like this and super powerful, I always worry about cooling. How, how warm is this thing going to be? How warm is this thing going to be once I, once I get that? Uh, uh, powered up. That'll be a different video. This is just the unboxing, but um, so parameters on this one in particular, um, it has uh, 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, two terabyte SSD, and then it's got a, a 2.8 gig uh, core i7 processor with four cores, a 12 meg cache, and so, you know, lots of Lots of beef in this, and so this is going to run primarily uh, F5 Distributed Cloud, uh, Customer Edge. Um, and so that'll be an interesting use case to start uh, playing with and catch up with a lot of my my cohorts at F5. And uh, really excited about that. So anyway, that's the unboxing of this bad boy. Um, hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough. Uh, let me know in the comments on how I did on my debut unboxing video. Take care.